Welcome to Stance Bros, your ultimate pit stop for all things automotive. Whether you're into slam sedans, tricked out trucks, or high performance hot hatches, we've got you covered. We eat, sleep, and breathe horsepower, torque, and that need for speed. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up for a roller coaster ride through the world of automotive excitement. Today, we're diving into the thrillingly unreliable side of motoring with our top 10 most unreliable cars under $10,000. These cars may be light on your wallet, but they'll keep your mechanic busy and your heart racing. Number 1. Fiat 500, 2007 to 2015. The Italian job on your wallet. An Italian icon with all the flair of a classic espresso. Unfortunately, these tiny city cars are also notorious for their electrical gremlins, timing belts, and transmission issues. You'll look fabulous zipping around town, but be prepared for the occasional pit stop, or five, or seven, or 10. And number two is the Mini Cooper S, 2001 to 2006. Small package, big problems. The first generation BMW era Mini Cooper S is a charming little car with enough zip to make you grin like a Cheshire cat. But beware of its Achilles heel, the continuously variable transmission, or CVT, and power steering pump. Expect a few costly visits to your mechanic when these components fail. The car may be many, but your bills won't be. Number three is the Land Rover Freelander, 1997 to 2006. Adventure, at a cost, the Freelander was Land Rover's first foray into the compact SUV market. While it's an attractive proposition for off-road enthusiasts on a budget, it's also plagued by a litany of issues, including head gasket failures and electric woes. Adventure awaits, but so do frequent repair bills. And number four is the Jaguar X-Type, 2001 to 2009. A cat with claws. The X-Type was Jaguar's attempt at creating an affordable luxury sedan. While it delivered on the style front, its reliability was less than perfect. From failing transfer cases to electrical gremlins, this big cat is better at emptying wallets than prowling the open road. Coming in at number five is the Volkswagen Passat 2005 to 2010. German engineering, or so they say, the Volkswagen Passat is a classic family car. The B6 generation has gained a reputation for its troublesome automatic transmissions and faulty transmission coils. So if you're feeling lucky, Take a spin in one of these German cruisers, but keep your fingers crossed, stroke your rabbit's foot, and keep a four-leaf clover handy. And number six is the Chevrolet Aveo, 2004 to 2011. The Chevrolet Aveo is the epitome of a cheap car with a cheap build. It's sluggish, uncomfortable, and prone to a multitude of issues, ranging from suspension to electrical hijinks. For a car that was designed to be affordable, it's remarkably adept at draining your wallet and repair costs. Number 7 is the BMW 3 Series, the E46, 1998 to 2006. The ultimate reliability nightmare. As an avid BMW fan, it pains me to include the E46 3 Series on this list. This generation of BMW's iconic sports sedan is known for its sublime handling, but it's also notorious for its subframe issues, cooling system failures, and problematic automatic transmissions. Proceed with caution. Number 8 is the Renault Laguna, 2001 to 2007. French engineering and style come together in the Renault Laguna, a car that looks great on paper but is burdened by numerous mechanical and electrical problems. While I do appreciate a good French croissant, the Laguna is more like a stale baguette, hard to swallow and best avoid it. Number 9 is the Volkswagen Jetta, 1999 to 2005. The Volkswagen Jetta is a curious case. It's a car with a solid reputation, and yet, the early 2000s models suffer from numerous engine and electrical issues. It's as if the engineers decided to take a siesta while designing these particular years, leaving behind a trail of repair bills. And finally, at number 10 is the Smart for Two, 2007 to 2014. The Smart for Two is an urban dweller's dream with its diminutive size and excellent maneuverability. Unfortunately, it's plagued with plenty of issues. From its questionable transmission to its eager-to-fail electronics, this tiny terror is best left in the showroom. Not so smart for a smart car. And that completes our list of the most unreliable cars under $10,000. Thank you for watching, and before you go do something silly and buy a car from this list, 
Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more car content. And let us know in the comments section below what cars would be in your list, and if you agree or disagree with us. If you would like to support the channel and help us grow, please visit our shop at stancebros.com for great automotive enthusiast merch.